Oh, there's a there's a thing over here. Hi. I was just randomly exploring and and you're you fellow. Hey. Bardoon. Oh. Tiny thing, you climb high. Seek then knowledge of these lands. This session place it Ooh, sorry about that, Bardoon. I had to do something real quick. Uh this ashen place is grave of worm. Once told it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the being spawned from that event. The mark of the worm you wear. That choice is yours, always the smallest creature that attempts the largest things. The falling ashes molt, the worm's corpse decaying, endless, mmm, serene, sad. With its light gone, the world is smaller. Don't mistake, I am not a worm, or um, too small, I am too many limbs, no foresight like those old things. You seem to have quite a lot of foresight. For quiet retreat did I climb up here, away from spitting creatures, oof. Yes, high up, away from simple minds lost to light. And theirs is a different mind of unity, rejection of the worm's attempt at order. I resist the light's allure, union it may offer, but also a mind bereft of thought. To instinct alone a bug is reduced. Wait a minute, this dude is unlocking all the lore for us. This dude is- this dude's the key. This dude's the key. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so the worm... Okay, so the reason that the worm had the mark of the king is be the brand of the king is because it is the direct cause of the current state of the kingdom. It tried to bring unity, and it tried to bring a sense of order to the kingdom of Hollow Nest, but it couldn't do that, so the worm is the Pale King. He said not- he doesn't think it was a death, he thinks it was a transformation. So the Pale King was originally that huge fucking worm, and then it transformed into a smaller insect- to be able to actually govern a kingdom because it decided that the king that the that hollow nest needed uh, uh, order instead of the chaos that it is right now and then it's talking about something called the light the light the light does bring unity and the light does bring order everything that the pale king wanted it to do but in service of order, you lose your free will, is what he's saying, and that's what the infection is, I'm assuming, because every nothing that is infected attacks each other, it's a hive mind. It's a hive mind. Oh my god, it's a hive mind. Yes, it is. It is a hive mind. Whatever the light is is the hive queen and that is the source of the infection they're all unified in in the infection they're unified and there is order in the infection but to have unity and uh, order in the infection you have to lose yourself and lose your own free will to succumb to the infection I believe is what he's saying mm hmm, hmm. Be on your way then, it's rest I'll return to, though in these times sleep oft proves uneasy. Bro just lore dumped on us, alright. Holy shit, that's gotta be it. That's definitely it. He just gave us all the secrets. Hmm, that's got it. 
I mean, if, if I'm misinterpreting any of this, feel free to correct me. But this feels like a Souls game where it's like you gotta take context clues and stories from NPCs and such. And that felt like he was just handing us the gold right there. That didn't feel like an interpretation. That felt like he was just straight up telling us everything that was happening. At least in terms of the way things, games like this go, he, he was being extremely direct about um, the way he was speaking and who he was speaking about. Okay, so we still can't, still can't use that, but that's fine. We'll likely be able to do that later. <laughs>